viewers today again we are going to see few of the questions asked by our viewers and going to give answers to those the first question a person has asked us what qualification should i go into after my 12th grade to get into the field of laboratory business first thing if you want to go into the laboratory field you can either take a medical laboratory technician course and study so medical laboratory technician course either you can take a diploma or a bachelor's if you are more uh, inclined towards getting a government job it is always better you do a bachelor's in uh, medical laboratory technician that is your bmlt course if you want to take radio imaging if you want to do x ray if you want to you know go into ct mri those kind of technical courses then you have to do the drit that is the uh, diploma in radio and imaging techniques of course aerb that is a certification board for our uh, india the board itself is conducting few courses uh, you can uh, go through those online and you can uh, take up these courses and the second question they have asked me very similar to this whether i can take up dmlt and drit and study see together combined courses are not available you have to do dmlt separately and you have to do drit separately my opinion my suggestion would be you either do a laboratory technician or you do a drit courses that is the imaging technique courses and you excel in that if you're taking an mlt course that is a medical laboratory technician course next do a bsc next you do a you know bsc in biochemistry so that your value increases doing diploma in two segments and just staying at the same place is not going to work out going on to the second question what our viewers have asked the second question is i have finished my oral pathology and whether i can start a laboratory see oral pathologist you are mainly going to you know uh, see lesions which are above your neck region so according to the mci and the indian rules you can open only a oral pathology lab and you cannot open an authorized reports in a full fledged laboratory you can of course open a oral pathology lab where you're going to see lesions of all the head and neck but you you have to associate yourselves with other you know phd holders or md pathologists to authorize other laboratory investigations you're going to do in your laboratory for example the cbc the biochemical parameters and all of course you need another md pathologist to be along with you to support in authorizing the reports of the other clinical parameters going on to the third question a person has asked me that he has finished he or she has finished his msc in medical microbiology and whether he is authorized to sign reports in the uh, of the laboratory and he has asked that few years ago there was a article stating that they are also eligible we are going to discuss on this point so in uh, something around the time of 2017 the medical council of india actually barred anybody other than md biochemistry md microbiology and md pathology to authorize reports but in 2020 and i'm also sharing the article with you this is not anything from my suggestion the article i'm going to share you in the link below this article states that from 2020 if you are an msc in medical microbiology medical biochemistry or pathology clinical pathology you can authorize reports apart from that if you have done a phd of course all in in these fields you can also authorize reports this is what the article states and this is not for all the states in india some 11 states in india have very stringent rules that the hematology reports can be authorized only by an md pathologist apart from those states for the other states these law can be applicable so these are the information i wanted to pass on to you hope you have got all your queries answered if you have more queries if you want to know anything more or if you want to also start a laboratory kindly write to us in the comment section or you can also write or email to us at pathlabstartup@gmail.com and our whatsapp number is 9940027564 we will be very happy to guide you and help you out in your laboratory business and opening a pathology laboratory also i'm going to say one more thing if you are a tamil speaking viewer we have also started our tamil youtube channel of blood test i'm also sharing the link below kindly subscribe that and follow that and you can get all the informations of laboratory business in tamil this is dr lalita sendal signing off see you tomorrow with another video bye bye